It's Joy again. I don't know what this was, but it's something, isn't it? Right? Okay. I have trash. And some people call this trash talking, some people call it empty, some people call it call it different things, and I haven't come up with a flashy title for it. And I'm usually great with titles, but this one I'm just like, I don't know. I don't want to steal from anyone else, but it's trash. So what's in it? Would I repurchase it? Oh, hold on, I gotta get my trash can. Okay. I want you to look at all this crap I got. I got a lot of crap in here. And it's beauty related, either skincare, hair related, or or makeup. All this stuff. There's a lot of stuff in here. All right. So this first thing I see is the biggest thing I got to get out of the way. This is um, Island Essentials. A Puhi, I can't even say that. Uh, Apui Finishing Spray. It's supposed to, I, it caught my attention because it's pretty. Pretty kind of a bottle. And it's supposed to be silicone free. Um, it worked okay. It wasn't anything great. It's supposed to be a stronghold. I didn't feel that it worked too much at all. So I have got another one I'm working through too that doesn't really work that well. And I've got another one that makes my hair like a rock. So again, if any of you have hairspray suggestions for me, please leave them down below because I have tried a lot of hairspray. I want something that, that keeps my bangs from flying in my face, but not that leaves them crunchy. It's not a lot to ask. I got this sample of dry shampoo, Amika dry shampoo, in one of my bags. I think this was in an, an Ipsy bag. I love the smell. It smells really nice, um, and it, sorry, I'm about to burp. It smells really nice. It has sea buckhorn berry in it, apparently. Anyway, it worked really well, but I can't find this locally, and I don't want to order anything online because that adds to my credit card bill. Hope it makes sense. So, I like it. If I find it locally, I'll probably buy it. I finished this NYX BB Beauty Balm. I really like this. Um, if I need a beauty balm again, I should buy this. I've just been using a lot of the other stuff I have and making it work for me. So if I get the opportunity, I'll buy it. This was in Nude 01, and I do like it. I got a Milani uh, Lash Trifecta Lengthens, Curls, and Separates. It has this little brush right here, and it's got some product left in it, but it's no longer working for me. I don't know what it is about mascara. It's either a wet formula that works better when it dries out or a dry formula that just dries out really quickly. This was somewhere in between and I stopped using it because I have to use like three other mascaras with it to get do something. It wasn't a favorites one time, one month, but it just didn't stay there. I finished an e.l.f. daily brush cleaner. I found a new formula on Pinterest to make a daily brush cleaner. It works reasonably well, not wonderfully well. So I'm going to have to try to emulate this one. Um, I like this only $3, but I go through it really fast because I like to keep certain brushes really clean. Otherwise, what happens is you end up breaking out on the places you use that dirty brush, and that's just gross. I finished my honey. This is um, a local honey, Desert Mesquite Blossom Honey. And it's got a tiny bit in here, but it's all sugared up, so it doesn't really work as well. And I can't get it out very well. Um, love these little bottles. I'll be washing this now that I've talked to you about it. And um, I use this as a face wash, usually on the weekends. Sometimes I'll mask with it because it smooths it out, um, smooths out texture issues, and it's just really great for your skin. I am out of this Little Barn Apothecary Geranium White Tea. I got this from my Petite Four box long months ago and stopped using it and started using it. It was a potent after, it's like a finishing spray for skincare is what you're supposed to do. It's supposed to help everything work together, supposedly. I love the way it smelled. It smelled really good. And I might reuse the container because it's glass. I mean, it smells like geraniums though. It smells great. I don't know that it did anything. I finished a Suki Purifying Foaming Cleanser. I liked it. I didn't love it. It's expensive. So, yeah. I finished a, um, what is this? Andalo Natural Fruit Stem Science Beta Hydroxy Complex Recovery Cream. I had to work through finishing this. I didn't really love it. And anything in a jar, guys, if you have anti-aging stuff in a jar, the moment you open the jar, it starts to degrade. It starts to oxygen works against any antioxidant benefits and it it just doesn't work as well. So at the end of this it wasn't doing anything for my skin. So doubt that Angelo Naturals is listening to me. Oops, I almost tripped over my light. 
Um, but if they are, please change your packaging because I won't be buying it anymore because by the time you're less than halfway done with it, it's not just not working anymore. And plus, for its stem cell, who says that works in skincare? What? It's fruit stem cells. They don't even biologically work on our human stem cells. And you can't go that deep. Anyway, um, this is by, I think this is, no, Coastal Sense Bright Eyes. I used to love this before I figured I found my pixie um, brightening under eye stuff. It's a really good product. I just don't order from Coastal Sense that, all that often, so it's not convenient to me. But it is good. And I've had it for over a year and a half, and so now it's it's not good anymore. Whatever's left in here is pretty bad, and it's changing, and it's separating, and yeah. Uh, this is the Jan Martini Skin Peel Skinzyme. Uh, so this is a exfoliating, oh, I need to put it in the frame, huh? This is a skin exfoliating mask, and you put it on. It's just got very little bits, and it's changed color, so it's not really effective. You put this on your skin, you let it sit for 20 minutes, and then you have to put a little bit more on to make it emulsify and then finally wash off. So it's supposed to mm, get rid of all the dead skin cells, and it worked pretty well. I got this free in a free, but it was really good and a very expensive product. It took me over a year to finish it. It came in one of my subscription boxes ages ago. I can't remember which one, so if I wanted to get it again, I would. I have some other exfoliators I'm liking at the moment, but this is kind of always in my radar. I finished a Alba Hawaiian Facial Toner, Complexion Balancing Hibiscus. I like this. It's a little harsh, and it's a little strong smelling. I guess then I really want it to be doing something really awesome to my skin, and toners just aren't, they just don't, don't for me anyway. This one doesn't. And it's got lemon peel as a high high on the ingredient list and lavender and those two things aren't very good for your skin so I've read but you know those are always those things are always up for debate so I, I got a sample of Becca Evermatte Poreless Priming Perfector and I, this came in a bunch of Try Me Becca products this is a gel like thing you can feel it just eating any kind of oil or hum, um, uh, extra moisture out of your skin not to the point of drying it out but if you are not don't have an oily skin problem don't ever use this I have a problem with this um, I put it on tried it a few times and every time it's the same problem right where the um, primer ends it starts to look like a skin peel mask where there's this edge and it, then it just doesn't the makeup on that edge it looks like you got a hair stuck in your makeup foundation you know what I mean so it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't play well with any makeup, and that's a problem for me. I don't want stuff that doesn't play well with others. I finished a NYX HD concealer. Loved this until I found the Clarice, Clarice, Clarice from um, Ulta. It's a good concealer, so if you want a good concealer, this one works. This is in the lightest color they have. What is, oh, CW01. Oh, here's a product fail. NYX Soft Focus Primer. I'm sure you guys already know this. This stuff sucks. It is a purely silicone, very, very slippery, slippery kind of product. And why is it almost all gone? This is why. If you do not have a thigh gap, and I have never, ever, even when I was a size one, I did not have a thigh gap because I don't have those kinds of thighs. So, I would put this when I was wearing skirts, I'd rub it in between my thighs to let them slip by instead of, you know, getting that, that kind of rubbing sensation you get. And it worked that way. But it also made a great big white mess everywhere else. I mean, it would flake everywhere on the floor when I initially put it on, so I had to make sure and be careful of that. But it worked that way. It did not work for its original intent as a primer. For giggles, I got a Estee Lauder New Dimension um, Firm. Oh, yeah, I'm kind of blind, you guys. This is a uh, wait, firm and fill eye serum, and it's step one firm and step two fill. Okay, these are actually really, really good and really, really expensive. All right, so they're really good, and they really do work, and I'm amazed that my eyes, under eyes, actually feel firmer, and they're smoother, and they're great, but they have the same problem with this that I had with the Becca. Where it ends... Where the you know you, where you work it into your skin, even if you use a little tiny bit, it looks you can see the edge of it. 
and it doesn't go away. I've tried to apply it with a moisturizer. I've tried to apply it several ways with several different kinds of concealers afterwards. It doesn't work. Um, it just doesn't play well with anything that goes on top of it. And I don't care if my eyes are so firm at night because this is a temporary firming thing. I mean, it'd be nice, but I'm not going to pay for my eyes just to be firm at night and then I'll not firm during the day. So it was nice to try it, but it didn't, no lasting effect. Oh, here's another fail. Hard Candy Sheer Envy Poor Defense Primer Serum. This stuff does something funky to my face. Um, it doesn't, it says it's silicone free. I've tried it with three different, um, what? Oh. <laughs> tried it with three different foundations and each one of them it balls up on, it, it does just, it doesn't work well with anything else. And so it's almost all full. I don't have any other thing and it does not uh, fill your pores or smooth your pores. They were the same size as when I started. Oh, this is the Makeup Forever. I got a, I, I don't remember where I got the sample because I don't like get Makeup Forever products anymore. So um, it is a brush that looks like this. And this brush alone provides many, many challenges because when I did try to use it, I almost always got it on my upper lid. And you can't use it on your lower lid, not without making a whole big mess. So I didn't like it. Oh, when I was ordering something once on the internet, I went ahead and ordered this Wet n Wild Ultimate Match Series Liquid Foundation. This stuff, it's supposed to have SPF 15. This stuff is so light and, I mean, uh, light in color, yeah, but it doesn't cover a thing. And it doesn't, it just, it's just yuck. It just smooths out to, here, let me show you. So here's the foundation, right? And then smooth it out. And you can't see anything. There's nothing there. And so when I put it on my face, you do all that work to buff it in. And it's like you put nothing on your face. There's nothing there. So thankfully, this was under five bucks. But I still could have used it towards something else. So I tried several masks this week. When I use my retinol, I um, I usually put a mask on when I go to bed and I'll wake up like 30 minutes later and take it off. You know, that or end up with a really gross pillow. I did this pomegranate crush from Bio Republic, and I can't remember where I got this. I think I got it at Marshall's. And it was okay. It was nice. It wasn't incredible, but it was nice. I use this uh, Manuka Honey Face Mask, and I think I got this one in a pack at Marshall's too. I was actually pretty impressed with this. Very hydrating. My face was nice and plump the next morning. It looked great. My skin looked great, and it, it seemed to, it, but it has a lot of great ingredients too, which is why I got it in the first place. It has the Manuka Honey, it has coconut oil, aloe, some interesting little extracts that I don't know why. It worked really well. I'm pretty impressed with it and I've got like three more to use. And then I have three from Patchology. One's a hydrate and two are an exfoliate. The exfoliate I believe I got off of Hot Look when I was on there one time. And the hydrate, um, I think I got this in one of my boxes which caused me to go in and buy more. Um, or no, I got one on off the Derm Store. I got this one off the Derm Store and this one off of Hot Look. But I got them. Okay. So the Hydrate, love this mask. This is the best after I use my Retin-A. It keeps me from peeling like a monster and it makes my skin happy and um, really beautiful. I wish I was born with that skin. And this exfoliate, I'm not as happy with, but it's still better than any of the other masks. And it does a very, very good job of hydrating. Um, it says it has lactic acid to help remove dead skin cells, but it doesn't make you peel like a lizard. So that works. And guess what, guys? We're done with my trash. Yay! It's all gone. So um, I hope that kind of helps you in your buying and not buying. Um, and hopefully it was a little bit interesting and not incredibly boring. So I hope you all take care and God bless you. And I'll talk to you again soon.